38 and today I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on holding dwarf hamsters. Now I have two, if you didn't know, and one's cream, one's cookie. Um, here's a little cookie right here. Cookie is not that stubborn. My tip is to, like if there's not, if there's a hamster that doesn't like to run a lot, my tip is just to cup him. Just cup him and sometimes they'll like go out but also you can just put your hand in front of another hand now this is for hamsters that like to explore cookie kind of does not like to explore and will not go hand to hand sometimes but other times you will just simply put your hand underneath the other hand make like a little staircase for him or just like close your stuff together and like give him a way to explore now picking them up is harder i do this and then I like close my hand on there, so I do like this. And then I close my hand, so let me show you again. Sorry guys, that fell. Oh. It took me forever to get this set up to where you guys could see it. So come on Cookie, I'm showing them again. Now picking up a not so stubborn hamster, just close in. And they like to squish, so then you're gonna want to do that, and then you can open it up and simply make a cup. Or you can just do this or this. Now with really, really squirmy hamsters, I have an idea, but I can like not pick out cream a lot. Like I cannot let them just sit on the bed to show you how to pick them up. So you just gotta pick them up to where you have one finger under the stomach and one on hand on top. And sometimes that works. Sometimes I just try to get them to go still by doing this. I'm holding them with like one finger on the bottom, one finger on the top, and like not holding that hard unless they try to squirm away like that. Squirm away like that. Now tips and tricks on holding really squirmy ones. Well, oh god, you have to cup them and like make sure there's no holes. Cause cream, little baby, you could squish. I, I always recommend trying to get your trust up with them because sometimes if they're really fast and squirmy it's because they don't trust you or sometimes they're just meant to be all squirmy and stuff. Cookie bites a little bit, see? Little cook. Cook is a great example of a really nice hamster that's not really squirmy and cream. <laughs> she, she, he is a good example of a squirmy hamster. No cookie, no, 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 you cannot go off the camera. No off cameras. Oh my god. That's off camera. Now you can do the same with him, with like them, because sometimes if they're really impatient and they just want to go and explore, you have to like set them down really quickly and then like cup them like this because they want to jump off. And if you, if you have like a hamster that's about ready to jump off, set them down and then cup them really quickly and do this and then like you've got them and like try to get them to go through one hand also if you don't want them moving from place to place move your hand like this because they mostly do not climb on your wrist they only climb on like a flat surface sometimes see like he doesn't want it right now he wants to stay to where he is there we go and you can like also use your hand to like direct them now I'm not even looking at him and this is hard because I'm only looking at the camera to see where he's going. So, you're a high little one. I also recommend if you have a squirmy one, just petting them while you're doing it because they're not so squirmy after that. Not so squirmy. I'm going ice fishing today. Well, not today, tomorrow. But I have to go to my aunt and uncle's. This is a little cream. Look at little cream, 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 cream. Just try to get like all your fingers on them lightly so that they, let me show you. Try to get like all your fingers on them lightly so that they don't move and they think that they're like trapped but they're actually not. Because like then you can do this and just pet them a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dance move. I love you little cream. I recommend giving your hamsters treats a lot too to get their, your chest up. Try to give them treats while they're on your hand because they'll mostly take it from you and they'll sit there and eat it and it makes it really easy and quick to tame. 
There you go. Cook it, cook it, eat it. Cook it, eat it. But there you go. And, well, I guess that's going to be the end of this video. Bye!